Right, hi guys, welcome back to another video on the E90 Razor. So, if you haven't already, check out the last video when we opened up this supposed DC motor speed controller. Um, wasn't much of a speed controller, was just pretty much a relay. 14 volt, 40 amp relay. We have got two 10.8 volt lithium ion batteries here um, these are both actually fully charged and they're more like 12 just over 12 volts both fully charged the scooter is supposed to be 12 volt scooter I wonder what would happen if we run these so it's near on 24 volts and then try putting them through that 12 volt switched and a over volted 12 volt motor well there's only one way to find out, so I'm going to figure out some way of making these power that, and I'll be back with you in a second, and we'll have a look and see how we're going on. So, we're a little bit further on, found out what's plus and minus on these two batteries. Um, at the minute, it's still running, supposedly 10.8 volt, I've actually just run them next to each other rather than in series um, they're just running parallel to each other at the moment and that is just because I've not actually used this scooter um, I got this for free had some dead batteries in it uh, even once fully charging the batteries I still couldn't get it to work the chain was all locked up rusted and I haven't actually played with it I haven't even gone down the road on it so I thought before I go and break it by trying to put too much power through it and it not working at all i'd actually just take it outside and have a quick go and see if it works so we're going to grab this and go out the out the front because you can't really use it on grass so i'm going to go out the front and see how we go on right we're out in the street just outside so let's have a look see what happens It works. Not all that impressed. Not very fast. So let's take it inside and double the voltage. See how we get on with that. Okay. So that was a quick run, as you saw. Not that impressively fast. So I'm now going to change the wiring configuration. Uh, check the voltage at the plug. Check it works out here, and then go out the front and have another go on it. So, here's our batteries, now as you can see, positive, negative, to positive, negative for the scooter. This should now be around 20 volts somewhere, if we get our test leads from the multimeter. using a screwdriver because that doesn't fit in there we got a probe put it in this side and our test meter 24.1 volts lovely jubbly so let's bring that over to here. This is all a little bit just pushed in at the minute. But to be okay for a quick test one. We plug this in. If it goes pop, it goes pop. If not, we're good. Let's 
plugged in. Let's lift the rear wheel up, and we hit the throw. Ooh. Well, it already sounds better. Let's take it outside, see what it can do. Okay, so back outside. Running double voltage. Something strange is going on here. I'm really struggling trying to figure out what at the minute. Flip the switch that way. There it goes. So you should put load on it. Trips out, something trips. As soon as you flip the switch the other way, put that to off. Looks like there might be a trip. In to the original power switch. Okay, looks like something in the switch. It's tripping, which is quite easy to get around. Basically, pull these two connectors off and join them together. But then you lose your on-off switch on here. I think I'm trying to pull too much current through this switch. So, let's join these together. A few moments later, I just pulled the speed controller out and just linked the two wires together inside the speed controller. You can wrap some tape around them and then it's two less wires flapping around and it's inside the plastic box of the speed controller. As you can see they're quite well soldered together, not my best soldering but it will do. And then that should done allow for full speed so let's keep playing boom a few minutes later and we're back together and it seems to be working so one more thing to do let's take it outside and test it right
was quite a difference. Ready? Set and go. Okay, so that concludes running a Razor scooter on 24 volts. So we managed to get it running on the two 10.8 volt batteries which are producing 12 volts. We modified the speed controller. We ran it for a 12 volt motor and it ran very nicely. I'm not expecting a huge range out of these batteries, they're tiny, in fact I'm not even going to use these anymore. Um, I'm pretty sure that I've flattened them, but oh, it's still got some life in it. But I can always get some bigger batteries. I've got some um, actual lipos from RC, which I can use, and I've also got some 18650 lithium ion cells, which I could use as well. So I've got different options. Um, speed controller held up. Even though it's just a 14 volt, 40 amp, I don't know what sort of ampage we were putting through it, but it worked. In fact, I think the fuse in here is only a 30 amp, so we won't pull in more than 30 amps. It held up quite well. It's good fun. I enjoyed it. Modified it. Um, subscribe for more. We're going to do some more of this. This isn't the end of this, um, this was just a little project for a Sunday afternoon. We've still got the next scooter to start playing about with, so there'll be another video on that. And we'll see what else we can do with this, maybe even see if we can put some more voltage through it. Um, but yeah, this isn't the end of this, so if you enjoyed this video of the little Razor scooter, subscribe, and there will be more. Check out the other videos on my channel, I've done some other bits and bobs uh, I've got a mobility scooter go-kart build that's on there and I've also got a video on the power wheels so we'll do a bit of all sorts on this channel so subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one cheers